2019 Clovis Invitational here at Woodward Park with Sean Brosnan, head coach for Newberry Park High School. Both teams, girls and boys, did very well today. All the attention, of course, was on that big boys showdown, oh, yeah. the rematch with Great Oak in the boys' championship race. It was an awesome, awesome showing. Ended up Great Oak pulled it out today, 57 to 65. Yeah. I know in the first mile you guys came out really hard. We're blowing the doors off of everybody. Uh, it, was, it was pretty impressive. Uh, mile two, Great Oak started moving up, and then mile three, they, they basically finished the job. And there was some passing. And the key positions, Great Oaks, one through five, one through six, and your three, four, five, kind of was playing out the way we thought it was and give a few points either way. What do you think was the key? Uh, well, the key for, for us to, to come over with the win would be our 4-5 um, running a little bit better. Our 4-5 didn't have great. They, they really died that last mile. But like I've said before the race, you know, we go. We wanted to go out hard today. We wanted to put it on the line. We wanted to risk it a little bit. It's it's a it's a more risky way to run, but it's you know the 12th of October. So this is part of our training. This is what we have to do. Um, you know, it was a risk for Nico to take the lead from the beginning too, and that was never you know that was always a plan. And I think you know I just have to look at things going in the state meet. I don't think we're in trouble at all. I don't think anyone will be as good as Great Oak in Division Two. So I think it's just stick to the plan and I think they'll be a lot stronger by the state meet and they'll close a little bit harder off for sure. So uh, you mentioned, I mean, as far as, you know, coming out hard, Doug had mentioned something which, uh, I mean, I've witnessed it over the last 20 years with him. Uh, he mentioned in his early years, he thought you got to get out fast, you got to get out fast. Yeah, yeah. He says over the years, he's looked at all the research and said, no, it's going to be tied later on than that. Uh, and, he, and he said, you know, it, it, it comes with time. Obviously, in a flat course, Hey, you can go out yeah, yeah. hard, be fit, and hold on. This one's a little bit different. Do you do you think there might be some adjustment down the road? I mean, I know it's kind of fresh still in the mind, yeah. but it, it, it could be. I mean, I have to look at it. I haven't really looked at any of the splits. I don't even know. I don't even know Nico's splits as of now. I know I was I was standing at a mo like 1.3 on the course, so I think he went 428 or something like that. I'm not sure. So I. I, from his standpoint, he could handle it. I think we just have to reassess where the guy's training is. Like I said, everyone's training hard right now. I don't think Great Oak's backing down from their training to get ready for this. We're sure not. So it's like their legs aren't as fresh. It's not feeling good. The plan is for them to be able to handle those paces. I think if we went out the same as we did today at the state meet, they'll handle it better and they'll be fine. But again, we're not going head-to-head -head with Great Oak at the state meet, so I don't think it'll be a, too much of an issue. But of course, you may at NXN. Hopefully, if all oh, goes will. well, that'd yeah. be awesome. Nico Young, I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, he was awesome. Opened up, I believe it was 4.29.8 at the mile, 14.15 at the two mile, yeah. closed 14.28. Was definitely ran better than like he was going to today yeah. when you put him together. That was pretty impressive. What are your thoughts on, would you change anything or was it kind of like, in your eyes, this was this is pretty sweet? You know, no, I, I don't think I would change anything at all. I wish he had more company up front at a mile and a half. I felt like he was the sacrifice lamb, and they, I saw two guys sitting together, almost looked like they were working together to get up to him, but his instructions were, they catch you, you search. They catch you, you search. I, I don't think, I think every time they got close to him, he just took off again. You know, I saw him at two miles, he looked right at me, he put his head down, and he just took off down that hill. I knew him coming in, if he had an, a, any bit of a lead, he'd win it. Um, and it was close, it was two seconds, but I thought there was no way. I said, unless they're side by side with 200 to go, Nico's gonna win this, and I was happy with that. Yeah, that, was, that was an incredible performance. Uh, wrapping up, the Doug, Doug was not at Woodbridge, he was on a family trip in Oregon. Sure. He said when he came back to practice, the very first practice after Woodbridge, and he met with the kids, and the kids were kind of like a little bit tense, and the first thing he did is looked at him and he says, do I look worried? And he smiled and they kind of realized, okay, you know, yeah, yeah. what's your message to your squad? You know, it's October 12th. You know, sometimes I think the pressure might be off because I'm sure we'll probably get moved back to like second in the rankings. I think there was a lot of talk, oh, you ranked number one. But at the end of the day, we liked it. We liked that badge of honor being up number one. But, you know, they beat us once, we beat them once. Um, I, well, I always do say you're only as good as your last race, so I guess they have us right now. But at the end of the day, I'd rather lose this one and then lose NXN, you know. I wish, I really truly wish we were in Division One and we can go head to head. Right. I think it would be like a battle for the ages, I really do. I think it would be awesome to, to go against them no matter what time you run the day. If we went head to head, I think it would create something special again. But, you know, the message, you know, listen, we have a four-week training block ahead of us that's 
out of this world, and if we stay healthy, I, I, it's going to be very hard to beat us. It really is. Okay, well, I know for years we've enjoyed it. We've really been blessed with seeing Great Oak be so dominant. And it's just doubly special to now see two yeah. mega programs just battling, improving, challenging. Awesome. Great job. Congratulations.